and we're going to go ahead and install a theme on your WordPress website. So if you do not have your login information to get into your website, you should have received it by email. Then I would encourage you to go back to Just Host and log in there. And what will happen is you can actually get into your WordPress website from here as well, just in case you lose your information or don't have that link. Just go ahead and scroll down to Site Builders and click WordPress. And normally it'll only just be one website that it shows for you to log in. I have multiple websites hosted on this one account, so you'll see that I have several uh, domains here. But for you, it would just be the one. And so go ahead and scroll to where it says your church website address. And right there it says admin login. Go ahead and click that, and it'll take you to your login page. And from there, go ahead and type in your login information. Ask if you want to save it or not, you can. And after that, um, this is the back end for your website. You click up there, and that's the front end. You click here again to dashboard. It takes you to the back end. That simple. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is install a theme for your website, for your church, because right now this is what's there, just a simple WordPress blog. And so in a new tab, go to uh, bit.ly forward slash da hyphen WP4C. And that'll take you to WordPressForChurch.com. And this is a friend of mine who owns this company, and he's uh, encouraged me to use his themes. And I'm, as a friend, I want to use them and promote them. Again, this is an affiliate link, so I do receive a small commission from this uh, website if you do purchase. But what you see here is it's $49 per year. And when you signed up for your host, is $47. So that fell just under $100. So basically, I'm helping you create your own church website for $100, which is extremely cheap compared to what a designer would charge. And so you see here, there's several themes here. My favorite is this one, the Edwards theme. And so what I'd encourage you to do is just go ahead and join to download and then scroll. Once you get that, uh, once you join, you'll get your information to log in, your password, all that login. And right here, there's a link down here. It says my account. You click that. And then right here, it says log in here. Click that and it'll take you to the login page. And once you're done, it'll have your basic information and you can go to the Edwards theme and click download. And from there, it'll ask you where you want to download it at. And so I'm going to go ahead and download it right into the folder where we are keeping all this information on making a church website. And so it'll download. And once that's done, you can go ahead and close that out back here on your website go to themes or you could also just here in the dashboard where it says appearance you click that and it'll take you to this themes section click install theme click upload from there choose file and then you would find the file where it saved uh, that from the from the make a, a wp for church.com so let me go ahead and find it here click open it'll start uploading the theme you click install, sorry, click install after. You click open, it'll start uploading the theme. You can see down here, it's already just about done. And so after that, it'll ask you if you want to activate the theme. Go ahead and click activate. And now, if you open this in a new tab, you could see your church website looks kind of like a church website now. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is start customizing this theme. And so the first thing we need to do is go in the back and see I have one tab here with everything in the front and one tab here with everything in the back. Go in the back and click Pages. And what I want you to do is create a new page just like this. So let me delete this real quick so you can know. So you'll just have the sample page. Normally click Add New. From there type in something like Home. And then over here in Default Template, click Home. And from there, just go ahead and click Publish. And then after that, what I want you to do is go here to the um, back here in the back end with your appearance. Put your mouse over it. Click Theme Options. And this is where all the options are for your church website. And you could go ahead and start putting in your church information, like your church. It's already on contact. You could put in your church address. 
um, see city, um, street, or state, and then zip code, a phone number. If you have a Facebook fan page, you put it there, Twitter page, all those things, you just put them in there. Um, in the general settings, uh, you could put in a, a home message. This is on the front page, and this is a message to encourage people in the Lord is what I put there, just something real simple. You just fill in all that information right here. You could actually click select color, and you could change the color of your site and you could change the color of the links as well and so it's kind of neat you could do that um, whenever they this is the color of a link when they put their mouse over it'll change to that color click save changes and then from there you go to your front page and now it changed it to green the church address is up here the link is that dark green you put your mouse over it turns to that light green you can see that all around here and so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is once you get all that stuff set up the way you like it go to settings and click reading from there you would click right here it says front page displays a static page and front page will be the home that we just created click save changes now if you come back here there's that message that encouraging message there that we had said and so that's uh, how you get that message from back here that you typed this home message so you can put a um, place a Bible verse here and there you go you could have a, a Bible verse in fact let me open my Bible program and I could paste one in really quick and so There it is, and let me see, it's Matthew 5, 3. From there, just hit save. And now, in the front, there is your Bible verse. And, and so it's kind of neat. You could have that there and be able to place that in, in your church front home page and so the next thing we're going to do is actually add what they call um, little feature boxes because if you go back to the website that I that you purchased your theme from you'll find that it had what they call uh, feature boxes and a slider as well and you can see right here there's these three boxes and then this slider so we're going to start filling in that information so what you're going to go ahead and do is right here it says number of home features to show and there's three that's the default and so right here in home features you're going to click up that and you'll see that there's none there if you just click home features so you click add new and what you do is you type in a title for instance I'm going to put the Bible way to heaven right here I click set featured image I want to upload an image from my computer and these images that I'm using are going to be for free to use on your church website as well and so I, I want to be a blessing to you and help you out with that so you just go ahead and it'll have the title there and, and everything and you just go ahead and click uh, insert into post and it should set it here as the featured image I apologize about that. It should have um, did that. Let me see here. Um, use as featured image, and there it goes. So there it is. So it's the featured image, and then this is where you would put a link to a page that would have your gospel plan of salvation, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But right here, you refresh, and there is this link. If you click it right now, nothing will happen because it's linking to this little pound sign. And so what we're going to go ahead and do now is create a page for your plan of salvation so click new page and what we're going to go ahead and do here is type in the bible way to heaven and then right here you would normally put a plan of salvation click publish and now it's published and so you go back here to your home feature or excuse me sorry let me go back apologize you you, you um, view page and you copy this text here and so you would copy that that's the plan of salvation page the plan of salvation the Bible way to heaven 
you go back into your home feature from there you click here and in there you paste in the link click update now back on the home page here's this you click it and it'll take you to the plan of salvation page and so I'm going to actually include some text which is the uh, a new life in Christ plan of salvation that I use and you can paste it in here and I'm going to give it to you as a, as a feature here so you would have a plan of salvation page um, we'll go ahead and click a, a new page and we'll have um, a doctrinal page um, just what our church believes and doctrinal statement and I'll also include one of those for you as well a free file that you could use to paste in here and you go back to your your home feature add new and you um, set featured image you upload and we have one right here what our church believes click open it'll start to upload it right here there's use as featured image and then from there you save it and hit publish and what we'll go ahead and do is go back to the pages and right here is what our church believes you click that click view page up here you copy it um, right here and then go back go to your home feature and there is a uh, right here what our church believes in fact we'll give it the title here what our church believes and right here we paste in the link click update now on the home page there's a what our church believes and there's a link uh, the Bible way to heaven and then what we'll also do is create a, a contact page and so we'll actually use this tab I apologize I didn't use it so go ahead and click a new page and we'll type in here contact us and right here default template will be contact click publish what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the, the page address first and so we'll go ahead and oops click copy go back and from there we'll go to home feature and we'll do add new and visit or grow with us that's the title of this one grow with us and this is a link to the contact page so they can actually find your church so they can go and grow with you and so you scroll down um, or you upload the picture uh, install it and it'll give you a section uses featured image and then from there you close it click publish now it's done so we'll go ahead and refresh the page and come grow with us and they click that and because you typed in your church information it automatically created a map and all the contact information is already in here as well as these links for your social media now remember you got to have actual links for that but that's pretty neat so that's how you start adding pages now you're gonna see up here these pages are, are full title and it's the name of all the pages so there's a contact page there's a, a sample page which we're not using there's a Bible way to heaven what our church believes page and I probably misspelled that I'm not sure I apologize but I'm a designer not a um, spell checker but we'll go ahead and now show you how to manage the um, menu here so back here in appearance there's a section that says menus and what we'll go ahead and do is type in menu for a new menu it says create menu right here after that we click primary menu and choose the the one that we just made called menu right here and click Save from there what we'll go ahead and do is click these pages that we want on our home on our on our menu and click add to menu from there we're gonna organize them in a good way normally the home is first and the contact us is last what I would also do is shorten these and so what we would type here is um, our doctrine something simple right here um, salvation and from there we just hit save menu now on the home page if we refresh it it made them smaller so they're not that big and so that's um, the basics of your church website and so we're gonna finish up your church website in the next 
video as far as um, how to um, add the slider and a few more pages. And so um, stay tuned for the next video.